Hello guys and welcome back to this notepad tutorial. Today we will be learning an AI system in VBS. If you don't know what that is, just continue the video and you shall learn. If you do know what it is and do know how to program, I wouldn't watch this video because this is covering the basics on how to get the computer to talk to you and you to talk back. So to start off with, I type this up. It's dim space f name. So dim means the computer will say an f name equals the name of the like title or the text. So we can go f name equals input box. Go open bracket quotation mark. This bit here, you can type in anything you like. The computer say so it could be hello there. And then quote, close bracket. Now with these things, the person who's using the AI system could type in anything they want. So they could type in like like this. So you want to make sure you use open answers. So F name equals input box, open bracket, quotation mark. Okay. So what is your name? So basically, by saying this, you're just saying okay to whatever they, uh, whatever they say. They could just say a whole bunch of random things, or they could say hi. So okay, so what's your name? They could type in like this again. So what I like to say is f name. Whoops, typing skills fail. <laughs> f name in input box. Open bracket quotation mark. Oh wow. So oh wow. Um people call me the chat bot one point So you can say people call me this or that's a great name. Um or you can say something else along those lines. But don't say something like Oh, Jake is a great name because they might put this or they might put a different name like James if they're sensible. So basically what you can do now is you can go say F name equals input box and you can say I'll just copy Copy this all the way down to here, ish. Yeah, and you can go open bracket quotation mark, and you can type whatever you like. You can ask the person questions. You can have fully fledged conversation with them, and you can do this five thousand times over. And it's a great way to just interact and have some fun. Um. So what you want to do now is you want to go file save as now. This saves into my coding batch files, which I've got like lots of things here. So basically, you should see Visual Basic File BBS or VB. So you can either click that, or you can go what I usually do is all files, and I go so God awesome speak. Um, so I just you know whatever it is. So I'll go chatbot 1.0. Now I'll go dot VBS. You need to make sure when you save this, it has the dot VBS, or you can go down here and until you find here, vis visual basic file VBS. So you can click that as well, and this will basically save it. Not not VB. Make sure it's VBS. You can save it as VB if you like, it's the same thing. So if you go save, now if we minimize this, uh, actually I'll just bring it back up because that just shows my desktop. And you guys don't really want to see that, do you? So if I go open, and you should see chatbot1 VBS script. So that saved it as this weird file. That you just saw there. Sorry, my commentary is kind of bad because I've got a bit sore throat. So it's like, oh, I'm trying to speak. Um, just letting this load. What is up with this load? Okay, there we go. Sorry, guys. Um, so we can do desktop. 
can go my things and let's go don't worry i was just watching a fun live stream that's fine coding batch files don't don't judge me <laughs> okay and let's open this up and let's open this up and open ah here we go so it comes up with this weird application and it says hello there and it goes cancel okay so basically even if i click exit it will still go on to the next thing because this is VBS file. If you want to learn everything you know about VBS, go. I might look into it and post a bigger tutorial with VBS. But you can type in, oh, my name's Liam. You can go, okay. To exit this, you do click cancel. So you might want to put in your first kiss, uh, first text, sorry. Um, press cancel to exit. Don't press the exit mark. That will just go on to the next question. So, oh well, people call me the chat room. Okay, nice. And then I can just type in this, press enter, and here we go. So basically, sometimes what it does is when you do file invite name, leave these things open um, with no text. It will come up with this. So it would say line 5, char 1, there's nothing there. So basically, you either want to delete all of this and then save it because otherwise it will do that when exiting once you have finished you can say f name in bot box oh i have to go now so then the program will exit if you have nothing below so i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial on the simple vbs ai system my name's been draxis i'll see you guys later